Ever feel like there's something massively missing in the way we understand the world? Like maybe, just maybe, we've oversimplified reality to the point of absurdity? Well, buckle up, because today we're diving into dream time, the aboriginal concept of existence that flips everything you think you know inside out and backwards. This isn't just mythology, it's a blueprint of reality, one so ancient, so profound, that science is only now starting to catch up. And by the end of this, you'll either be enlightened or having an existential crisis. Either way, you'll never see the world the same way again. First, forget everything you think you know about time. The Western world treats time like a straight line. Past, present, future. Neat, ordered, predictable. Wrong, because according to Aboriginal belief, time is a living, breathing loop. Dream time isn't the past. It's always happening. It's the creation of the world and also this exact moment. To Aboriginal Australians, everything that ever happened is still happening. The ancestors who shaped the land, still here. The moment the world was sung into existence, still happening. It's not history, it's reality, which is weirdly similar to what modern physics is suggesting. According to relativity, time isn't a sequence of events. It's all happening at once, depending on perspective. Einstein would have been shook. But before we get into the science, we need to talk about how dream time actually works. Imagine this, you wake up, step outside, and the world isn't there yet. No trees, no rivers, no mountains, nothing. Then out of the silence, the ancestors begin to sing. And as they sing, the world forms beneath their feet. Rivers carve themselves into the land, mountains rise, the wind begins to move. And that's how reality was created. Not with a big bang, not by some distant omnipotent being, but by song. And that's why everything in the Aboriginal world has a song. Every rock, every tree, every animal, every person. These aren't just random formations of nature. They are words made solid. And this isn't just some poetic metaphor, because Aboriginal people use these songs as maps. Western explorers armed with compasses and maps spent years getting lost in the Australian outback. Meanwhile, Aboriginal Australians without GPS, without written maps, navigated thousands of miles flawlessly. How? By singing the landscape. Song lines are so precise that they can guide someone across the vast deserts of Australia with no landmarks, no roads, no written directions. But here's the real kicker. These song lines don't just describe the land, they describe how the land was created. Because in dream time, the land isn't separate from the stories. The story is the land. Which means that if you forget the songs, you forget how to move through the world. And that is terrifying. Because what if we've already forgotten our own song lines? For decades, Western academia dismissed Dreamtime as primitive mythology. Now, quantum physics is sweating because modern science is starting to sound a lot like Aboriginal spirituality. Time isn't linear. Dreamtime says past, present, and future exist at once. Quantum mechanics confirms this. The universe is made of vibration. Dreamtime says the world was sung into existence. String theory says reality is just vibrating energy. Consciousness might be fundamental. Dreamtime says everything is alive. Quantum physics, now considering the same idea. What if Aboriginal Australians understood reality better than we ever did? You might be wondering, cool, but what does this have to do with me? Everything, because Dreamtime isn't just about Aboriginal beliefs. It's about how reality actually works. And here's what it teaches us. The world isn't dead, it's alive. Everything is connected. Everything has meaning. Time isn't what we think it is. The past, present, and future exist all at once. Your words shape reality. The ancestors sang the world into being. Maybe in some way, so do we. For thousands of years, Aboriginal Australians guarded this knowledge. The West, we dismissed it, laughed at it, called it primitive. Now, science is quietly proving them right. The nature of time, the structure of consciousness, the interconnectedness of reality. Maybe, just maybe, we should have listened all along. What if Dreamtime was never just a story? We're a new channel. So if you enjoyed this content at all, please take a second to hit like or subscribe. It means the world. See you soon.